Everyone says you should go to war. But the only person who will tell you otherwise is a soldier. Why should a soldier get shot in order to eliminate terrorism? One of the first few sounds I heard while I was born was the moving blades of a helicopter. I was born right outside the Jew Airport. Both my father and grandfather are stalwarts of the Indian aviation industry. I've been a science geek all my life, and I think that's what's laid the foundation of who I am today. My parents have never stifled my creativity for engineering. While I was pursuing my bachelor's in aerospace engineering in college, I decided to build drones. In a conference with international delegations, I got an opportunity to present the idea of India's first heavy lift UAV. And with a lot of foreign delegations, there was skepticism, saying that an Indian cannot achieve this. That's impossible to do. That's when I decided to take it up as a challenge, to prove my worth, to know that what I'm doing is right. My friends and I worked through the night in a very small dinghy office space to make sure that we are getting where we wanted to. After six months, we delivered the first live product and a live demonstration to the Indian Army. We achieved the impossible, and I was happy to prove what an Indian mind can really, really do. Although it was just a small accomplishment, but it gave me a hard insight into how drones can be used to transform the entire Indian economy. As a child, I've seen family members return home with bloody uniforms and bullet wounds. And trust me, those wounds don't go away. And that's what's inspired me to build India's first attack drone, India's first combat-ready UAV that can go deep into enemy territory, gather intel and destroy the enemy, that too without any casualties. It's been nine years and today I provide my drone and anti-drone services to everyone in India, including the Army, Navy, Air Force, the paramilitary, the BSF, the CRPF, including the Prime Minister of India. It's not been an easy journey, in fact, it's been a very tough road. I've seen days where I've gone bankrupt and I've seen days where I've exceeded my own expectations. But what's always kept me going is my love for science, my passion for aviation and my undying love to make India proud.